What's up, Pussy? It's your boy JT Animation back with another video. Hey, you guys, you know who it is. He goes by the name of Pilot Boy Chris. He's a subject matter expert here on this channel, giving us the game about the pilot car industry. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had no idea what it was before he came on the channel. Now I feel like hey, I understand this business, and that is the power of working with a practitioner. So I'm a practitioner that wants to connect you with practitioners. So what Chris teaches you about the business is not what he heard. It's not what he saw in a YouTube video. It's not what he read in a book, but he lives this business. He actually has a fleet himself and will teach you how to get to the level that he's on being highly successful in his business. What we're going to do is for anybody out there that has missed the previous videos, one, check the links down in the description below and go check those out. But he's going to give us the five simple steps to starting our own successful pilot car business, right? And in case you missed it, he was saying you can make $1,000 a week in this business, right? $1,500, $2,000, you know, you could grow it to whatever you want it to be. So the five simple steps to start your own pilot car business, stay tuned to the end of this video in case you have any other questions and you want to network with Chris directly to learn exactly how you can have his assistance to get started. So without further ado, thank you for coming back on the channel. Chris, how you doing today? I'm good. I'm good, brother. Always yeah. good. Like I say, always good to see you. Yes, sir. Likewise. Likewise. Do you mind giving us the simple breakdown? I got a South Carolina education, so I need high level. What are the five, in your opinion, simple steps to starting a pilot car business? Well, first, number one, I would say the number one thing you want to do is. Hold on. Wait. Are you on social media because you're looking for a way to make more money in a consistent way so that you can better your personal economy or create or scale your generational wealth? Well, guess what? You're on the right channel. I want to invite you out to my Foundational Wealth Conference. There, I'm going to give you the proven strategy to make money in business, to make money in stock investing, and to make money in real estate investing. I'm bringing all of my friends together that make six and seven figures a year doing this, and I want to teach you how to do the same. Link is in the description down below if you want to take advantage of that. Secure your vehicle first, because without the vehicle, you're not doing anything. And making before even on a couple of your videos as well as mine that when it comes to the vehicle that you want to use there's some weight and size stipulations to it but for the most part just to not to go too far in depth in it for the most part almost any vehicle in your driveway will work but there are some size and weight stipulations that you want to make sure that you uh, deal with before picking your vehicle but the first thing you want to do is secure a vehicle that's going to be used out there. All right. Once we got our vehicle, what would you say is the second step? Second step, you don't already have a business structure, is establishing of some type of business structure. I've been asked personally, should I get an LLC to do this business? And the short answer on that is, well, really in short, answer, it's a decision. But you don't need an LLC. I'll say that. Your state or county has a assumed name or doing business as option, which most you know cities and states do. I know here where I'm at, you can do a DBA for about sixteen dollars and just have you know you operate under that name. You still operate under your own social security number when you do that option, but you are operating under a, a separate name than your personal name. Now, when it comes to protection, that DBA ain't gonna protect you. LLC. So that's a personal decision you need to make there. But yeah, number two, step two would be establishing your business or setting up your business structure in whatever way you want to set it up. All right. So after we set up our business, what's step three? Step three is another very important step, and that's getting certified as a pilot car drop. That is about as important as your vehicle, or as is important or more, because just like that vehicle, if you don't have your certification, you can't drive as well. This is the only thing that you have to do to become a pilot car driver. You know, on my channel, I often talk about how low the barrier entry is to the pilot car industry. And that's because this is one of the reasons why to become a pilot car driver, all you have to do get certified as a pilot car driver. I got a video that deals particularly with where to go to get certified, how to get certified. Just in general, getting certified is a one-day process. In class, basically for eight hours, and that whole day, you got a break in between. But at the end, you take an open book test, so you don't have to worry about failing the test to become certified. I mean, it's a real simple process. It just takes a while, because like I said, it's a day. You got to take a full day to get it done. But once you do it, you serve as a pilot car driver 
and you can drive as a pilot car driver. You can operate. All right. We got certified step three. What's step four? Step four is getting you equipped. Once you get certified, you got your vehicle, you got your certification. You now need to get your equipment. There's a few good places to get equipment from. Some are better than others. It's not one, one place where you can get everything, uh, unfortunately. You can get some some things here, some things there. I deal with that as well on the YouTube channel as well. But you got to get your equipment, and that's that four there. All right. And then what's the fifth and final step to keep it super simple for the viewer watching that wants to get up and running with their own pilot business? That's step five. So, yeah, you got your vehicle. You got your certification. You got your equipment. Your business is set up. So you're really ready to go. All you need is the work. So step five uh, would definitely be getting your work and figuring out how you're going to get it. All right. I'm going to add a step zero for everybody that's watching this, right? Step zero is find you a mentor that has already done this before and mirror their blueprint. I say this all the time. Anything that can make you a lot of money can cost you a lot of money as well. So you can do all the other steps, but not know what you're doing and still struggle to find work. Pick the wrong vehicle, even though he said most vehicles work might be just your luck you randomly pick the wrong vehicle, right? So step zero is tap in with Chris. Learn from somebody that already knows how to do this business the right way, all right? Because again, I can't say it enough. Anything that can make you a lot of money can cost you a lot of money as well. So don't go out here trying to figure it out on your own. Time is your most valuable resource. You can wait six months, a year, two years, and that's assuming that you'll ever know what Chris knows, right? You might not have the experiences he has, the financial literacy as it pertains to this industry that he has. There's so many different variables that you're just hoping you come across instead of just finding somebody like Chris who already has been there, done that, and knows the right way to make money in this industry. So step zero is find you a mentor that has already done it before because the difference between doing it that way and doing it any other way is you're not hoping whether or not you're going to make money. If Chris has a fleet and is already making money consistently doing this, if I take Chris's blueprint, I'm not hoping that I make money, right? In Chris's mentorship program and his course, he's giving me 50 contacts. So I'm going to know exactly what kind of vehicle to get. I'm going to know how to get my certification, right? I'm going to, he going to give me customers. All right. Basically, if you give me 50 contacts, I got 50 potential customers and I can go out and start making money. I'm not guessing. I'm not hoping. I'm not going to be blindsided by something. And in business, believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, what you don't know can hurt you. So it might be something about this industry that you learn in Chris's program that because you're unfamiliar with this industry, you never even thought about it. It never crossed your mind that whatever this situation is, is a possibility because you driving your personal vehicle, it's not an issue, right? But what you not knowing that, that could be enough to get you fined, get you shut down, make it so you don't make as much money as you should. All of those different things come into play because what you don't know can hurt you and will hurt you in business. So Chris, do you mind by ending by letting the people know where they could connect with you at on social media and how they can tap into your course and mentorship program? Yes, sir. Social media, I'm on IG. You can reach me there, Pilot Boy Chris. You can, for resources, you can hit the website, pilotboy.life. I got resources there as far as equipment lists. You got information on low board insurance companies, et cetera. And we also got the link to the uh, mentorship program on the website as well for those who want to go a little bit more in depth as far as getting what you need to get out here and get into this industry. Those who just want to soak up as much free game as possible, I got a nice size YouTube channel with a bunch of free game out there and good videos on different topics in the pilot car industry. And I'm um, steady dropping videos on that channel as well. But I, even if you're going to take the mentorship, I advise everybody to go to the YouTube channel and, and watch those videos because it's going to answer a bunch of the questions that you'll have off top from coming into the knowledge and knowing about this industry. I answer a bunch of questions in all of those videos. And of course, I say from there, you need some more resources, tap into the uh, website, followboy.life. And you got some more resources there for those that, that yeah, I want to get into this. All 
All right. For your convenience, links to his social media and his website will be down in the description below. Be sure to go subscribe to him on YouTube, follow him on Instagram, go jump on that email list on his website and take advantage of that course and mentorship when you are ready. Right. So, hey, we're going to end it with that. Now, I want you to think about this before we get out of here. This time next year, right, you could be in the same financial position that you're in right now. So you can watch this YouTube video and be like the average person on YouTube. Average person on YouTube going to watch about at least seven random YouTube videos. Then they're going to have to go do something because life is going to call. All right. So I challenge you to not be one of those men and women that watch this video and several other videos and you already know you're not happy with your financial situation and you let another day, week, year or month pass by and you still not doing anything to make it better. Right. It's not going to magically happen. So this channel and resources like Chris's YouTube channel and all the other resources he gives, gives you the ability to say, OK, I'm not happy with where I'm at financially now. Let me go learn from somebody that's already been there and done that already, right? So take advantage of those links down in the description below. Don't just watch this YouTube video and still complain about you can't make any money. All right, we're giving you the opportunity, but Chris ain't gonna come to your house and get you out of bed and make you go start this business. You gotta bring some effort and you gotta be willing to do what it takes. Till next time, so I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.